Hey Curly, today I'm super excited to share with you a game-changing DIY curly hair routine featuring a surprising ingredient, the beetroot water. First things first, we'll need to prepare our magic potion. Grab some fresh beetroot, slice them up, then pop them into a pot of water with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Once it's done simmering, strain out the beetroot chunks and voila! You've got yourself some nutrient-rich beetroot water ready to work wonders on your curls. Beetroot water is packed with vitamins and minerals that promote hair growth, strengthen strands and enhance shine. Plus the acidity from the apple cider vinegar helps to balance the scalp's pH, keeping it healthy and happy. The bowl method for curly hair is a game changer for those looking to enhance their natural curls. This technique involves using a bowl of water, in this case we are using beetroot water and it is made to help distribute the product evenly through the hair, ensuring each strand gets the moisture and definition it needs. So you apply your beet water on soaking wet hair. This is where the bowl comes in handy. Tilt your head over the large bowl of beetroot water, making sure to saturate every strand from root to tip and let the water help to spread the product evenly through your curls. I was just trying to be careful because I had a carpet in front of me and I didn't want the red beetroot water on my carpet. But I did apply it on my scalp once I went back into the washroom. So <laughs> remember to also apply this and scalp massage with the beetroot water. Scrunch and dip. Scrunch your hair upwards. Now here's the fun part. After rinsing out the beetroot water, you can shampoo if you want but I like to not shampoo this goodness out so I will apply a conditioner or a deep conditioner over it like after rinsing out the beetroot water. I usually condition my curls using one of my favorite deep conditioning masks. I'm currently loving the Buclem mask. This helps to lock in the moisture and define my curls. Since I didn't have time to keep it as a mask, it was late at night, I decided to use it as a hair cream. The brand specifies this mask doubles as a leave-in, so be sure <laughs> to check your products and see if they are also multi-purpose like this. Next, I'm styling my hair. So I applied a combination of Buclem cream and Cantu cream to my damp hair, ensuring even distribution from roots to tips. I also sectioned my hair and no gel this time, I just intuitively wanted moisturized hair. So I used my shampoo brush to style my hair, it really helps to define my curls. You can choose to use this brush if you want to. It's really economical, economical and affordable compared to other brushes that are flooding the curly hair market right now. My hair is thick and high density so I have a lot of hair to go around. So I prefer brush styling in small sections at a time. This helps me distribute the creams that I put in my hair and also smooth down any frizz and flyaways. And for the front curls, I always like to finger coil them. They just look better overall when I finger coil my hair. Sometimes I finger coil the whole head. Sometimes I like to finger coil only the front. But using this brush like this, it's actually super convenient. It can be a little bit of a learning curve to get the grip of the brush. But once you're in it, um, it's super easy to do it. I have sped this. Uh, video but I'm actually going really slow and, and I'm gentle with my hair so remember that and these are now my styled curls
and here are my results i find that my front uh, curls which are full of gray hair the gray hair especially are a little bit more frizzy and that's only because i used creams i did not use anything else so that's why i'm introducing a mousse right now and i'm applying it directly on my dry hair if you have stubborn curls in the front try this pin curling method this involves winding small sections of hair around your fingers and clipping it to create tight bouncy curls so here's a step by step guide okay to achieve the perfect pin curls take one section of hair and wrap it around your fingers from ends and towards the root once you reach the scalp carefully slide the curl off your finger and pin it flat against your head using a bobby pin or a hair clip you can repeat this process for other small sections use a product that holds if if you are looking for styling products to meet your goals for example if you need moisture you use cream if you want hold and volume you want to use a mousse like this if you want hold for many days you want to use a gel so if you need more of a hand in selecting curly hair styling products for your hair type then check out my product guide i have curated over 60 products categorized based on hair type and ingredients for your convenience you can download from the link in my description for more of a natural look alternate the direction in which you wrap each section okay and let the curls set allow your pin curls to set by leaving them in place until your hair is completely dry this can take a few hours or you can speed it up by using a hair dryer and these are my results soft shiny and defined curls courtesy of the beetroot water and a little tlc so next wash day why not give this diy curly hair routine a try your curls will thank you for it remember to like and comment and subscribe for more curly hair tips and diys until next time stay curious and i'll see you next sunday if you want more diys remember that i have free guides over on my website just click honestlist.com or you can also google honestlist diy and it will give you a whole list of all the diys that i have tried and tested and i know for sure they how they work you can check out the guides and you can let me know if you try you can reach me on instagram follow me on pinterest to get in touch